from Adam to Abraham, you've got 2,000 years. Abraham to Jesus, you have 2,000 years. Jesus to us, you've got about 2,000 years. That's 6,000 years. 6,000 years that Satan has been ruling this earth since Adam. Now the Bible talks in Revelation in the end about a 1,000 year millennial reign, a kingdom that's gonna happen on the earth where Christ rules on the earth. Can you understand that he's waiting for the, the people to say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. There's a fullness of this time of the Gentiles when the gospel is going to preach to all the earth and then the end's going to come. But isn't it crazy that this has been going on for 6,000 years? Remember the pattern, six days, a day of rest. Six years, a year of rest. 6,000 years, isn't it perfectly the time set up? for the 1,000 year rest where Christ reigns on the earth and restores things. Okay, whenever we talk about end times, we have to be very careful because there's different ways that people interpret how things are gonna happen at the end. So I'll be first to admit, look, I am sharing one possibility. Now I think I'm right, but it's one possibility. And I could be off on this, but my point is we have to at least admit it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy that a nation could be scattered for 1,800 years and then suddenly come back. And it just so happens to be the one nation.